student receives praise for bogus paper on how milk is a colonizer of coffee. You can literally make a joke paper to show how stupid the system is and get and pass with flying colors. Now, I would suggest if you're going to do something like this, go all the way through college and don't even let them know that you're just joking. And once you get your, your straight A's, once you get your, uh, your degree, that's when you go back and tell them, oh, by the way, all of those papers were a science experiment by me to show how fucking stupid academia is. A college student in Sweden recently decided to take a class on critical race theory as a joke and then added to the fun by turning in a hoax paper. Arvid Hogg signed up for uh, critical whiteness perspectives on Nordic culture at Stockholm University because he said the local uh, pandemic grant, uh, grant rules had equipped him and other students with an unexpected financial aid windfall. Hawk thought he'd get something fun out of the harmless and absurd class, but he soon realized many of his peers took the American-born ideology seriously. That, I can understand this, this kid's um, feeling of dread. I was the same way. When I realized that there's people out there that legitimately take this seriously, they unironically believe this garbage, it, it was devastating, man. Now, Arvid bided his time, occasionally offering some critical comments here and there, but saved the best for last. An essay titled Black and White Drinks, described as an account of what, what, what had happened in the early 20th century and the struggle between coffee and milk. According to Freya Titer, Hogg related how the marketing of the coffee has been characterized by highlighting black and exotic elements of the drink. When it comes to milk, it has instead been the local and white that has been emphasized. <laughs> Ooh, the question one can ask is whether it is really a reconciliation between milk and coffee that has been implemented or whether adding milk to the coffee is a way to take away from the coffee its unique properties and impose uh, and instead impose the black drink white properties. How dare you? Milk in the coffee can uh, can with critical glasses be seen as a uh, drink based colonization. The hot and strong coffee cools and is rounded off in taste with the help of the milk, which thereby controls and domesticates the coffee. <laughs> and they actually took this seriously. You, you want to know why? Because what they actually believe is even stupider than this. It's pretty easy to make these guys fall for these pranks because they actually believe in even stupider stuff. Hogg admitted he did not read uh, most of the books or blog posts he cited, nor even knew what critical whiteness perspectives meant. Nevertheless, the instructor gave him a B for the paper, noting it was an exciting topic with creative thinking. He even suggested Hogg expand uh, upon his thoughts in a longer essay. The instructor's only criticism was the paper did not have the exact source references for the photos. The joke must have gone over his head. <laughs> well, oh, or even better, how funny would it be if the if the professor was in on the joke? Uh, yeah, someone finally saw through it, huh? Now, exposing the quackery of fields like uh, critical whiteness studies began in earnest 25 years ago with the classic so-called hoax, which claimed that quantum gravity is a social and linguistic construct. And, and these days, there's entire swaths of the population that legitimately believe biology is just a social construct. I'm not even kidding. Alan Sokol proved uh, it damn hard to tell what's supposed to be legit. For example, the essay Glaciers, Gender and Science, a Feminist Glaciology uh, Framework for Global Environmental Change Research was real, believe it or not, but the conceptual penis as a social construct was not. And who can forget the feminist version of Mein Kampf titled Our Struggle is My Struggle, Solidarity, Feminism and inter as an Intersectional Reply to Neoliberal and Choice Feminism? That was the best. But they, they literally took Mein Kampf word for word and, and just replaced a few terms here and there. Now, given this atmosphere, yours truly fell for a hoax paper three years ago about how dog parks are manifestors of rape culture and oppression. I, again, it's really hard to tell because these guys believe in even stupider things. Yeah, Hogg's Twitter bio features a link to a fake book page, which indicates he's a pol political candidate. His most recent post chastised the Swedish government's current champ policies. All right. Well, this is a good way to get yourself some votes, I got to say. Well played, sir.